welcome back to my channel and if you are new welcome today I'm going to be showing you how to get this makeup look that I'm wearing and I was super inspired by this top that I'm wearing right now and it is a blue crop top I love playing with color and I love incorporating color here on my channel so I really hope you guys enjoyed this look and don't forget to subscribe to stay tuned for more upcoming videos and if you guys would like to see how to get this makeup look then just keep on watching to save some time, I went ahead and filled in my eyebrows using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. And I'm going to move on to the eyes. And I'm going to be priming with the Master Conceal by Maybelline. And this is in the shade Light Medium. And it is a concealer, but I am going to use this as my primer for today. The reason why I like using concealers as my primer is because it just evens up the discoloration of my eyelids. And so the shadows blend seamlessly. I'm going to take some of my translucent powder and just sweep it all over my lids. And I am using an It Cosmetics No Tug Dual Eyeshadow and this is in the number 5. I'll be taking my Morphe 35OM palette. And this is my absolute favorite palette, especially to use like on a daily basis because it contains all the neutral shades I need. And I'm going to be taking this shade right here on my crease and this is going to be my transition shade. I'm just going to run it along the sides of my crease for that depth and dimension. Next, I'm going to take my Lorac Pro 2 palette and I'm going to be taking the navy shade right here, which is a dark blue and it is gorgeous. And I'm going to be using my number 7 brush from BH Cosmetics. And I'm going to be applying this on the outer corners of my eyes, kind of working it into my lash line. And as I'm applying it, I'm also blending. And I'm going to be dragging it on the outer part of my eye like this, kind of flicking it. Going back to that shade we used in our crease. There's a lot of birds outside. <laughs> Tripping their lives away. I'll be taking the shade we used in our crease and I'll be blending that out. going to use this little Urban Decay sample sized eyeshadow and I'm not exactly sure what shade this is in because it was given to me at Ulta but I'm going to be applying this on the inner corners of my eyes and I am going to be using a number 8 brush from BH Cosmetics and it does kind of have like a brown undertone to it so let's see how this looks I can feel fallout I'm going to be mixing some of my Cinema Secrets eyeliner sealer and you can just use some Fix Plus, but since I have this, I'm just going to use this. This is just going to make it appear a little bit more metallic-y. I really want to try those Moon Dust eyeshadows. They look so And with the BH Cosmetics 132 brush, it's a small pointed brush. I'm going to take this dark shade, and I'm going to be blending that out. Going back in with the shade we used in our crease and blend that out. And with the BH Cosmetics number no. 6 brush, I'm just going to take some of the white matte shade and apply this on my brow bone. And for mascara, I'm using the Smashbox X Rated Mascara. Eyelashes, I'm using the Creme Shop Lashes in the style 117 and I can't find my eyelash glue so I'm just going to use the Eyler Little Adhesive. Moving on to the face, I'll be using the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser and this is just going to hide my pores. To prime my face, I'm super excited to be talking about this product because it is an oldie but a goodie. And I used this a long time ago and they repackaged this product but it is the best primer I've ever used in my life. And it is the NYX HD Studio Primer Base and it does run for about $16 which I think is pretty expensive for a drugstore primer but honestly this is hands down the best primer ever. What I love about it is that it does have this white consistency with kind of a blue undertone and what this helps to do is hide any discoloration on your skin and it does even out your whole face to give you a nice base to apply your foundation. 
You see how it just evens out your skin tone and everything? Like, oh my gosh, I seriously love this primer so much. And for foundation, I'll be going in with the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1, which you guys have seen a thousand times. And today I'm going to be working it in with my buffing brush from Real Techniques. And to set my face, I'll be using the NYC Smooth Skin Powder in the shade Naturally Beige. And I'll be taking it with my A Cosmetics One Ball Brush, and this is the number 8. Next, I'm going to be taking the Maybelline Master Concealer, and this is in the shade Light Medium. And this is my first time using it, so I'm super excited to see how it works. And hides my under eye circles, because I've heard really good things about this. Oh my gosh, I didn't even color correct today just to see how this concealer works. And I am using this to conceal and highlight, by the way. Oh my gosh! And I'm using this brush, it's kind of like a Real Techniques look-alike brush, but I got this off of another app. So I do notice that it sets really quick. And to set that in place, I'm going to use my RCMA translucent powder and I'm going to be baking it in. I'm going to let that sit in for about two to five minutes, but in the meantime, I'm actually going to contour and bronze. I'm going to be using my Kat Von D shade and light palette and I'm going to take shadow play and sombre on this 127 brush from BH Cosmetics. After that, I'm just gonna go ahead and dust it off. Oh, got some in my eye. Then I'm going to take my favorite blush at the moment, which is the Lorac Cinematic Blush. And it is such a gorgeous fall color. And I'm going to be applying this with a number three brush. With very little of this product, it goes a long way. And to highlight, I'll be using the Lorac Starlight Illuminator, which I did review on my previous video. If you guys haven't seen it, I would highly recommend you go watch it if you want to know a little bit more about it. And I'm going to be using my small contour brush from SL Miss Glam. Taking the same highlight shade, I'm going to be popping this on my inner corners. And taking the navy shade on the other side of the It Cosmetics brush, I'm going to be running this on my lower lash line. And for my waterline, I'll be taking my Say Black Eyeliner. And I'll also be tight lining. And going back in with mascara, I'm going to be coating my bottom lashes. For lips, I'm going to be applying ColourPop's Beeper Liquid Lipstick. And to set my makeup in place, I'm going to be using the Scandinavia Makeup Spray. for watching this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like it leave me your comments down below letting me know what look you would like to see next I am so excited for the Halloween videos to come through I'm still in the planning process but they will be coming soon and if you guys have any requests don't forget to leave them down below as well if you haven't subscribed go ahead and subscribe so you guys can receive notifications from me and also don't forget to follow all my social media Instagram my Twitter and my snapchat to stay updated and that's pretty much it for this video. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye!